Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the ARX 160, an Italian rifle designed to replace the Beretta AR-70 currently in service. The ARX's damage is moderate up close, but poor at a distance, with your effectiveness evaporating quickly at a middle range. Up close, you'll kill in three shots, or two where one shot is a headshot. In fact, headshots are particularly worthwhile with the ARX, as it boasts the highest multiplier in its class, at 1.56 times damage. At a distance, you may need up to six shots to kill, although it may be worthwhile avoiding such conflicts altogether, as many other weapons are better suited for combat over longer sightlines. Rate of fire is very high, bested only by the FAD, at 857 rounds per minute. The integrated laser sight tightens up the hipfire spread of the weapon to some level above a typical assault rifle, on par with the SMG default instead. Given the elevated hipfire performance and rate of fire, combined with the low range damage, it may be best to think of the ARX as better fitting a hybrid SMG role. Recoil is moderate, with the ARX 160 rapidly pulling upwards away from your target. Because of this, you should be careful in ranged combat, but in the cases where it's a must, ensure that you only fire in short bursts to allow the recoil to settle. Aim time is identical to its peers at 300 milliseconds, and you'll move at the assault rifle default at 90% of the base speed. Magazine capacity is standard for the assault rifle class at 30 rounds, or 45 with extended mags. Reloads are frequent courtesy of the higher rate of fire, and are fairly average for the ARX's class, taking 2.87 seconds to complete. Classes with the ARX 160 are best built with a mobility approach in mind, to take advantage of the SMG-like handling and close quarter performance. Adding the muzzle brake can add a significant extra portion to your effective range, as the ARX has one of the greatest damage differentials of all weapons. While you should avoid combat at extreme ranges, it certainly doesn't hurt to pack a little extra punch in mid-range combat. Similarly helpful at such ranges is the foregrip. Lower recoil makes for a weapon that's easier to handle, and one more likely to land successive shots on target. For your perks, a set designed to assist aggressive use will suit the ARX best, and Stalker is an essential choice for some within such a role. With it, you retain full walking speed while aiming, making it possible to push into enemy territory while preserving the ability to land shots with pinpoint precision. Stalker's true strength lies in your ability to evade enemy fire, however. If you strafe relative to your opponent during a firefight, they'll struggle to hit you, granting you a larger envelope in which to secure the kill. Agility grants you a faster movement speed to add much in the way of maneuverability, closing the gap between the ARX and the SMGs and making for a very potent close quarter build that still retains many of the benefits of using an assault rifle. Beyond this, it can be worth investing in resistive options. ICU lets you ramp up the pace of gunfights by speeding your health recovery, and focus is generally always worth the two points it costs to better allow your sights to remain on target. With this combination, you can rapidly push into enemy territory, cutting a cruel swath through their attempt at a defense. The ARX 160 is a well-balanced weapon that brings many of the traits of an SMG to the assault rifle category. With high damage up close, paired with a high rate of fire, the weapon is capable of killing very quickly, and the integrated laser sight means you can more effectively use the weapon in closer quarters. This ability to fend off aggressive attackers is a boon on the smaller maps, and you retain many of the benefits of using an assault rifle, including superior range and a greater level of penetration. However, compared to some of the assault rifles on offer, the ARX is lacking at a distance. Damage drops off quickly to the lowest level in class, and the moderate recoil compounds this issue, severely limiting your ability at a long range. Still, from a close to middle range, the weapon can be dominant, and with its ability to light up a dimly aware foe, the ARX's electric performance might come as a shock. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the Amelie. Until then, farewell.